IEEE DICEPAN 2015 will focus on spectrum for 5G wireless systems. To accelerate innovation and trigger new ideas for 5G spectrum sharing, a challenge will be organized as one of the parallel tracks in the conference. We are happy to introduce to you the key motivation behind the challenge and unveil some implementation details. Spectrum sharing in 5G will have to rely on sophisticated metrics. These metrics should be technology independent. In addition, behavior, often measured at higher protocol layers, should be rewarded. We will have to think about shifting regulation from transmitter-based to focus on transmitters and receivers jointly. Finally, interference should be tolerated to some extent, as long as gains and losses are well balanced. The IEEE DICEPAN 5G Spectrum Challenge will combine all these needs in a single challenge, as detailed in this video. The setup of the challenge is as follows. A primary user gets packets from the database and transmits them to the receiver. This primary user can be a National Instruments USRP Rio or a USB dongle. Upon reception of a packet, the receiver will transfer it back to the database where the packet is verified and the metric is calculated. The secondary user follows the same pattern. This secondary user can be a USRP, USB dongle or your own custom solution. To clarify the objectives of the challenge, a short demonstration is given. This waterfall diagram shows the spectrum usage in time. Only a frequency hopping primary user is active at the moment. Now, a secondary user, as indicated in the red ellipse, becomes active and attempts to transmit only when the primary user is idle. This graph shows the throughput of the primary user in time. When the secondary user becomes active, the primary user throughput is only slightly affected. However, the combined throughput is significantly higher. Each team participating in the challenge will have to operate in two modes for two phases. During the first phase, teams will have the opportunity to calibrate their secondary user and learn the impact of ambient interference, the room and the primary user. Feedback from the primary user receiver is given in real time to the secondary user so it can learn how to adapt its parameters optimally. In the second phase, the secondary users will operate in the optimization mode during which they will try to optimize the objective metric that is used to score teams. Secondary users can optimize this metric by using novel waveforms, MIMO or beamforming schemes, improved machine learning or time frequency agility. Two winners will be selected among the competing teams. A first winner will be determined following a metric balancing secondary user throughput and primary user satisfaction. A primary user reaches zero satisfaction if 10% of throughput is lost. The metric is monitored on the database. A second winner will be selected by a jury and is based on external reviews of the paper. The focus here is on creativity of the solution. To participate in the challenge, a two-page paper is to be submitted on the challenge track by April 15. The top submissions will be informed by May 15 that they can compete in the challenge. These teams can buy National Instruments hardware at significant discounts if required or desired. A camera-ready paper is to be submitted by August 10 and the final competition will run at Tyspan. The 5G Spectrum Sharing Challenge is a collaboration between the University of Leuven in Belgium, National Instruments and the IEEE Tyspan Conference. For more information, please visit the website below. We hope to see you there.